All over Dillydale, the Mr. Men and Little Misses are taking time in the middle of their day to have lunch. Whether it be a simple soup and sandwich, a salad with lots of delicious ingredients, or a sloppy bowl of spaghetti, their midday meal is the thing that gives them the energy to get back to what they were doing before lunch. <sighs> no matter how exhausting it may be. The Dillydale Cafeteria is a very popular lunch spot, which is why Mr Happy has invited Mr Grumpy and Mr Stubborn to lunch. Is the food any good, Mr Happy? Oh, the food is wonderful, Mr. Stubborn. I'm sure you'll both be very impressed. Don't count on it. Mr. Grumpy, are you going to complain all through lunch? I am not complaining. Yet. Let's just see if their soup's any good. The cafeteria makes many kinds of delicious soup. Here, have a tray. What for? It's self-service. <laughs> you mean to tell me there are no annoying waiters? Not one! You just slide your tray along and help yourself to whatever you'd like! I think I love this place! Good. Maybe now you'll stop complaining. I recommend the macaroni and tuna Ooh. salad. And the coleslaw's quite tasty too. How can a person choose? Aren't you getting anything, Mr. Stubborn? I'm waiting for the spaghetti and bean balls. Oh, forget bean balls. Can't you see all this other great food? I see perfectly well. If I cannot have spaghetti and bean balls, I do not want anything. Don't be ridiculous. Have some mashed sweet or some lovely lasagna. No, thank you. I want bean balls. Try the bean loaf. It's like square bean balls. Loaf is not balls, Mr. Grumpy. Hello, Mr. Stubborn. We have four kinds of bean loaf today. And you get a tickle on the side. I do not want a tickle on my side or anywhere else. Stubborn, you're ruining my good mood. Hmm? Just put something on your tray. There is nothing here as good as spaghetti and bean balls. What do you call this? Disgusting. Oh. Clearly, you will eat anything. Look here, Stubborn. I happen to be a very picky eater. Does someone need a tickle? No. What I need is for Mr. Stubborn to pick up his lunch so we can all sit down. Mr. Huh? Grumpy, wait until you see all these wonderful desserts. Hear that? Unless they have spaghetti and beanball ice cream, I am not getting any dessert. Come oh, on. Move it. I do not have all day. Do you mind, Mr. Rude? It's my first time here. And hopefully, your last. I heard that. <laughs> Maybe I could eat this. What kind is it? Lemon meringue. But it's best eaten with a tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tickle me. <laughs> Maybe my good mood isn't ruined after all. Oh, this pie is cheap. <laughs> Whoa! Now that's some wonderful pie! <laughs> Those dodo birds can throw pie around all afternoon. I'm gonna eat my lunch. And for the record, I'm not paying for this pie. Some days, the busy Mr. Men and Little Misses bring their lunch to work. And other days, 
lunch comes to them. Uh, hold that door, please. Oh, wow. Oh. Terribly sorry, oh. Mr. Bump. Mm. Sandwiches. Hello, Miss Sunshine. Do you think anyone in your office would like to buy a sandwich? <gasps> do you have cream cheese and smoked salmon? That I do. Oh, you've absolutely made my day. <laughs> Here for a sandwich, Mr Lazy? Yeah, I could use a break from all this work. Well, there are all kinds to choose from. That sounds like a lot of choosing. I don't know if I have the uh, energy. Uh, um, uh, could you choose a little faster, please, Mr Lazy? No, uh, it's too much work. Uh, 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 phew! Office workers, I'd like to dedicate this song to Mr. Bump and his delicious sandwiches. Oh. You really talk my language. Oh, cream cheese and salmon sandwich. So good on whole wheat bread. Or oh, try some jam instead. Lunch time! There he is. Mm. Let's get those sandwiches. Oh. Wait, one at a time. There's plenty for everybody. Right, these sandwiches are superb! You'll have to come back tomorrow! Uh, I'll do that! <laughs> Poopity poop! There are special occasions when lunch is eaten in the open air. Like on a Dillydale Nature Club outing, for instance. And it's at this point that we might spot the rarest bird of all, the horn-thrusted red spangler. So let us all be very quiet. Ah, uh, there it is, uh, behind you. <laughs> Time for lunch. That's what I'm talking about. My stomach's been growling up a storm down there. Mr. Messy, just because we are eating in the woods doesn't mean we have to act like animals. I don't know any animals who wear socks. Animals definitely don't wear socks. <laughs> My parrot Featherbrain, she wears a tiny little hat once in a while, but that's it. What I meant is that lunch should be a civilised affair. Oh, I didn't forget the green olives. Shazam! That's the fanciest lunch I've ever seen. I like my comforts, even in the woods. <gasps> Speaking of the woods, I think something's watching us. I just have leftovers, but I'm sure they're as good today as last night, which seems like a really long time ago for some reason. I really like leftovers, though, don't you? I do like leftover cheese, but only if it has a good stink. Wow! Are those baby carrots? <laughs> I love baby carrots. They're just like normal carrots, only so much cuter. Let's have a look. Mr. Messy, you're spilling food. You don't want to attract a wild animal. Too late. Don't worry, Mr. Fussy. Whatever I drop, I'll pick up and eat. Like that piece of cheese I just dropped. Maybe not that. I shall not be pleased if you bring a trail of ants to my fine lunch. Ants are the least of your worries. I still can't get over the fact you brought all this food all the way from home. <gasps> Is this plum jam? My dear Miss Chatterbox, no offence, but I cannot properly enjoy my lunch with your hot breath breathing down my neck. Oh, uh, that would be hot bear breath. And if you want a hard-boiled egg, just ask for it. Oh. Don't snort. Um, uh, Mr. Fussy, that wasn't me who snorted. Bear! What are you two talking about? Bear! Mr. Fussy, I think he wants your picnic. And you might want to let him have it. Bears are funny that way, not half-funny either. Not the plum jam. 
Leave it, Mr. Fussy, or you'll be bare lunch. I am not leaving until I have packed up my picnic. <laughs> ah! Wait for me! If you think I am leaving behind these green olives, you are mistaken. So you see, the Mr. Men and Little Misses go to great lengths to enjoy a nice, wholesome lunch. They know the pleasure a delicious lunch can bring. Unfortunately, so do Dillydale's bears. <laughs> 